In this video, you will learn how to use an online thesaurus to add high-level vocabulary to the draft of your essay. So first thing is that you need your draft done. So you can see here that I have my paragraphs ready to go. And now I'm going to be looking for some high-level words. If you look on the lesson plan, um, there are there is a slideshow here to help you understand how to do this, and I'm going to show it to you right now. So it says go to thesaurus.com, and you can go ahead and just click that link. So remember, a thesaurus is like a dictionary, except it doesn't tell you what the word means. It tells you words that mean the same thing and words that mean the opposite thing. Next direction, say type your word in the tab where it says synonyms and click search. So synonym means same thing. So on my, on my essay, I'm going to find a word that I think I could probably make a high-level word. So I'm going to look at this word help. I wonder if there's a better word I can use. So I type in help and press search. Wow, there are words here. When you look at the words, the dark orange words are probably the best match. The lighter ones, maybe not as good. Another thing I wanted to show you is that there are tabs at the top. So sometimes words can mean different things. If I wanted help to mean assistance or relief, these are good synonyms or words that mean the same. If I wanted words that mean an employee, somebody who, whose job is to help, then I can use these. If I wanted to use it as a verb, like I help you, then I can use these ones. And if I wanted it as a verb that means make, make things better, then I can use these. So I'll go back and look at how did I use it. I said with more teachers, more students could get individual help. I did not use it as a verb. I used it as a noun. So I'm going to go back to the first one, assistance or relief. Hmm. So this is the part where it might be a little hard to pick the perfect word. But um, if you give it a try and you get it wrong, that's okay. We're just learning, right? I actually like right here, assistance. So you can even look at the definition on the top. And I'm going to change mine to say assistance. And then to make sure that I see it's a high level, you can underline it or highlight it. Um, if you want to see words that mean the opposite, you can also check antonyms. So those are at the bottom here. Like if you're trying to think of a word for big and you type in um, small, you could just look at the antonyms if you wanted to. All right, the last slide here, I have some words that you might be using on this particular essay and examples of how to improve them. So give, you could use donate or provide. If you're saying a lot of, like a lot of money, you could change it to multitudes of money. Help, you can change to assist or support if it's a verb. Uh, money, you could say financial assistance, that means help with money. If I wanna say some, I might say a portion of. If you're doing the time machine, you could use the word travel, but you could also try venture or explore. And if you're saying like, I would see this, I would see that, you could say view or observe. So there are some good ideas for you. Um, and just make sure that you are trying to find three in each body paragraph.